Hi there. Welcome to Maintain Your Mojo. Whew. Mojo. You know, your joy. That's what I'm talking about. Mojo, really. And have you noticed that every time you feel called to try something new, maybe bump up to a new level, explore something new, branch out into the unknown, somebody or something shows up and tries to hinder you, sabotage you. You know, and I've noticed this can be not only people, but for example, I recall many, many years ago taking a workshop the joy of singing and it was about getting over your fears and how many of you have had this experience where a grown-up or somebody says "Ooh, you should never sing and so you shut your mouth and you don't do it and you start crossing over into all these other areas of your life where you just don't do it well in this workshop many many years ago they assigned me a song and of course, no matter where I looked, high or low, I could not find the sheet music for this. One gal broke her leg. I mean, just all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, another example, not so long ago, I was taking a workshop with a, a Saturday Night Live Emmy Award winning writer. And the night before I was supposed to submit my assignment, my printer ran out of ink. So where am, I, where am I going to go get ink at night? I found some because I know this thing, this thing happens. And people, some people just have radar. When they sense you're moving on to broader horizons. Oh, I, with stories. Okay, so that's the point. There's a lot of stories. I know you have your stories. Here's the thing. I've been meditating for years and turning within to get my answers for navigating through these obstacles. And the answers I get are not like my mind comes up with them. It's like, oh, you know, I hadn't thought about that. And somehow I don't completely see how that relates. But I follow the instructions. I just feel it. I know this is what I need to do. So I've got the saying. <laughs> I don't get even. I get odd. But seriously, you know, my meditation, my guidance guides me to do odd things. They're harmless. They don't hurt anybody. But it's just a solution that's a little off the beaten track. And it always works out. So I would love for you to, hey, by the way, like they say, like and subscribe, like and subscribe and join me on this journey because I love sharing these practices and principles that lead to peace, health and fun, peace, health and fun. And I'm not talking about the idea or the thought of peace, health and fun. I'm talking about embodied where you are feeling it. You are living it and help you track. Track the bait, the traps, the hooks, those buttons that, you know, people tend to push in each other. Identify those before you get sucked down into the, the traps, the ditch. You know, and you have to claw your way back out. So but you listen, listen, listen to that. Well, from here, I should say, listen, listen, listen. And then use your reason. And go, you know, it's not going to hurt anybody. But there, you know, there is the fallout. When you continue to grow and expand and go on to broad, broader horizons of success and just plain old peace, health, and fun, for crying out loud, some people are not going to be happy. And I have some tips and strategies for you to maintain your mojo, no matter what. So again, please like and subscribe and read below in, in, the, in
in my notes about this upcoming six week summer session to maintain your mojo. I used to do it brick and mortar uh, in this in the summertime, but now everything's online and I surrender. I'm joining the online community and by the way, so I get to touch more people's lives and share, share in this. I love, I love to see people flourish and navigate and avoid those baits and the traps and the hooks of this world and trust yourself. Listen from within. All right. Thanks a bunch. Like and subscribe.